Hi guys, welcome back to a little weekend in the life. I'm about to get ready, so I wanted to start the video here and do a little get ready with me. John and I are gonna go grab some sushi. We're moving in three weeks. You and I have a lot to catch up on. You guys, you're a little bit behind <laughs> on the life updates. So we have lots of life updates. I have some home stuff to show you guys, some Amazon orders. Um, we're going to Ikea tomorrow, tomorrow's Super Bowl. Just a fun little weekend in the life. I am also filming a haul today. It's going to be a separate video, but um, I ordered some goodies from Princess Polly, and these were included. This really cute little, like, eyelet, I think is what they call it. Like the little, whatever it's called, top. It's, like, double lined over the boobs, and then, like, mesh everywhere else. It's really pretty. Not mesh, see-through. Yeah, and then I got these really cute like dad shorts from Princess Polly. They're like beige, perfect for the spring. They fit like a glove. I got size four and size six, and I love them. But I'm about to do my makeup, so let's do our makeup together and then go get some scoochie. Look, hey, why do I know that my time coming up? Out of my mind, all my time ain't enough. Stay to my grind many times, I was stuck. Had a wax of real, rip it, tray out like I'm young, cause I am in the scenes I got. Little more to give y'all than the people I'm not. Step foot in the game, y'all, last change, uh huh. Hate them more cause I'm up and I don't even fly that. But I'm here, I see rappers liking dark clothes, high things. I know they hiding, but what you hiding from? You trying to run, you know I'm about to grill your ass. <laughs> hey, look, no, it's my time, you must sun, I rise, it was on my time. Manipulate time like you do with they minds I'm sick and tired of the lies that you preach Only up I climb, I'ma leave y'all down I can show y'all high like the birds and the bees Everybody tryna stunt like they know the fuck is up I know everybody's stuck to a certain degree They all hide it, that ain't something I'm with Always keep it ten toes And if I choke up, I am making emotions Roll me to this paper, hey, I'll see you later Shouldn't waste time with you goofies But ooh, I fucking hate now you Now you hiding from? You tryna run, Ooh. you know I'm about to grill your ass Wow, whiskey! <laughs> oh, I'm still recording. Wow. Album hits every single feeling you can't feel. Only fakes, every box swears trash. They all want me to collab, but you're not worth it to me, man. Give a verse when I body your work. I don't wanna stop beef, but I'm sick of people mad cause I won't give a verse. It's how I feel I keep it real, how to clear the clouds, they disperse like when Okay. Makeup is done. Outfit is on. Okay, here's the outfit. This little outfit from Princess Polly. I just got these like beige dad shorts, this cute little top, and then I'm wearing my Veja sneakers and we're gonna go grab some scoochie where are we going babe get that scoochie are you upset because i'm so loud everywhere i go yeah. <laughs> what are you so <laughs> you're so deep in thought about Vibe kill. This is cold. Oh, this is cold. Yeah, I brought. That's John's new saying. Your car is not made for vlogging. We're gonna have to get a new car. That's gonna fall. I can't I'm believe these people parked right behind me. Yeah, they always do that. I'm excited for the place that we're moving because there's this place called Bangkok Sushi, right? Is that what it's called? Uh, Bangkok. Yeah, it's like really good sushi place that John loves and apparently if you buy enough scoochie they serve it to you in a boat So I don't know we might have to do some YouTube challenge where we go and order 20 rolls of sushi just to Just to get it in a boat. Yeah, I think it's 10 12 rolls easy. You mean dad invite your dad and your mom We could kill 10 rolls Yeah, for sure. Easy, that's not even that much. I thought it was gonna be like 20 30 like something crazy But we're going to this place over near us now to grab sushi and I'm super excited, I'm starving. I made cinnamon rolls this morning and they were really good, but the oven we have at this house sucks and it burns everything. So, see you guys at Scoochie. Oh baby, level of excitement for Scoochie. Uh, one of everything, please. Okay. 
we just got back from sushi and John wants to take a nap and that's not gonna fly with me. I have way too much energy right now. So I'm gonna go to Home Goods, and if I buy anything, it's on him because he didn't have the energy to do anything. So whatever happens in the next one to two hours, it's a hundred percent John's fault. <laughs> We're gonna go to Home Goods. We're gonna go to Home Goods. Oh my God! The next car I get is gonna be solely based off of if it has a good spot to vlog, and if it doesn't. We're not gonna get it. Cause this car Ooh, this car is like the worst. But anyways, we're gonna go to Home Goods. I thought we could chit chat on our way there. It's hot. But if I turn the air on then you guys can't hear me. I just need a minute. Ugh, Florida is so hot. Okay. That works. I thought we could chit chat. We could drive to Home Goods together catch up on life. We have so many things to talk about. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so, I thought we could drive together and chit chat about all the things life. I don't think we have talked since I started my new job. I don't even think I've told you guys that I got a new job. So, I not only got one new job, I got two new jobs because we all know I'm an overachiever, you know? Um, so for a while, oh my God, this is gonna drive me crazy. For a while, I was kind of in the process of getting this internship that I wanted to work out. Wow, what am I even saying? I think I need coffee. Um, for a while, I was, in the process of trying to see if this internship opportunity was gonna work out. And while going through the interviewing process and kind of just seeing um, if it was gonna work out and what was going on with that, I was obviously interviewing for other jobs because you can't put all of your eggs into one basket. And back in like high school, I was a leasing consultant, so I leased out apartments and I really liked it and there's a lot of money to be made in it if the commission structure is good. So I was like, you know what? Like, it's super flexible because you work weekends. Can you get in your own lane, please? Because um, you work some weekends, so then you have days off during the week. And I'm like, that'll be like the perfect opportunity for me to be able to do an internship and work a full-time job, like make commission, make some extra money, save some money. So I ended up getting a job as a leasing consultant. That is the main reason why we're moving. Um, I get a discount on my rent and so we're moving into the apartment complex that i got my job at which i'm really really excited about because it's in such a good area and um the apartments they're brand new luxury apartments so they're it's a new build community so we're still like going through construction we don't even have all of our buildings available yet but that's exciting because we have so many apartments for me to lease out a lot of money to be made like i mentioned I need a discount. I'll put some photos here of our of our exact apartment. Um, they're still fixing it up and like finishing everything. Like they just put the carpet in. They just painted the walls. Like all the mirrors still need to go up. The doors need to go on. Like little things. We're moving in March first, and today is what's today? Today's February tenth. So we're moving in and exactly three weeks and I am so excited it's actually we got a three bed two bath of the garage and it's gonna be John my dad and I so my dad's actually moving in with us um, which is really exciting too and it just kind of worked out that way um, he his lease is up in March and um, we were looking to move out of my grandma's and into our own place and if we move in with my dad, then it kind of kills two birds with one stone. It saves us all money. And I'm close with my dad. And my dad and John are close. Like, we all get along really well. My dad's super laid back. And so, it's kind of like the best, best case scenario, for sure. So, we're doing that. We're all moving in. We got a three-bedroom. Um, John and I are taking the master. 
and then we're splitting a office area and then my dad has the other bedroom I really hope you guys can hear me I'm sure it's loud and I hope this whole footage isn't for nothing um, and I hope you don't mind that you're totally rocking back and forth anyways so I'm really excited we are moving into our place March 1st so I've been in like total furniture apartment shopping mode and uh, I'm just really excited but anyways I'm like all over the place right now we're moving March 1st new apartment complex where I'm working and then I also ended up getting the internship and I'm super super excited about that so I'll be working there about 15 to 20 hours a week and then I'll be working full-time 40 hours a week at my leasing job so I'm gonna be really busy be on that grind but I'm ready for it this year is like our grind year um, John and I agreed like no major vacations like we're trying not to spend much you know all that boring adulting stuff so um, we're in the mode what are you doing people in Florida literally do not know how to drive like I don't even know how half the people on this street have their license it's absurd this guy is like literally going like just traffic um so yeah we're just like in grind mode um I'm still in my graduate program so I'm getting my MBA like I, I'm sure you guys know in finance and project management so that's like my end goal I really want to be in one of those two fields I'm definitely leaning a lot more towards finance and like operations and there's a lot of opportunity at my dad's um, or at my internship and there's a lot of opportunity in my leasing job so I can move up in either and I'm just really excited I'm excited for the opportunities I love my leasing job so much um, I love everyone that I work with I love the community I love all of our residents so far they're all so kind it's been an amazing experience thus far I just started last Thursday I got three leases already I'm like killing it like I'm doing really good and I'm really excited for what's to come so yeah that's kind of like the work and move life update I wish I could tell you guys like the area and um, the name of the apartment complex but I you know probably should not do that for safety purposes okay now I'm at home goods I'm in the parking lot I just parked oh my gosh you guys my camera literally went like flying across my car so I was like okay maybe this whole vlogging and driving thing is probably not the best idea <laughs> but anyways we're at home goods now and I was totally rambling all I was trying to say was that the plan as we all know plans change um but the plan right now is to stay in this apartment complex for about a year and a half maybe a year eight months just depending and then um during that time if a lot of land comes available and like the wesley chapel like northern tampa area um then i guess that's still considered tampa isn't it i don't really know it's kind of confusing born and raised here and i still get shit confused but um that's like the plan um i really want to just buy land and build like a barn dominium i think it'd be so fun yeah i mean i feel like that's still considered like tampa what else would it be considered yeah so it's like northern tampa and um that's my goal like that's like my favorite area i love the wesley chapel area and um that's where I would like to buy our first place. Eventually I'd like to move out of Florida, but that's probably not gonna be the case for like five, six years. So yeah, moving into the apartment and then kind of just seeing where the heck life takes us, you know? But um, yeah, so that's kind of like the update. A lot of rambling. I'm really excited about my new positions and the new opportunity. My plan is just to lease the crap out of this apartment complex and make all the money and show them how dedicated and what a good worker I am, work my way up, um, either in the multifamily industry or where I have my internship. Just kind of see where life takes me, what opportunities present themselves. But I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to be leasing for at least the next year and a half to two years at this complex uh, we have so many apartments to lease so much money to be made and I would be silly to not do that also there's hairs on my lens but yeah I'm super excited I love my manager um, I love my co-workers 
I love the complex, it's beautiful. It's a brand new build. I really wish I could tell you guys what it's called and where it's at, but it's probably not the safest thing to do. But anyways, I'm at Home Goods. I have like no real list of things that I need. I actually do have a few things. So I want a new dog bed for Oreo. So maybe they have one that's like a good price. Um, I want a new little tower for the cats. I need a, I need um, a food dispenser, like um, automatic one that you can like set a timer to for our cats and for our stray cat, like our outdoor cat mama, who's gonna be staying at my grandma's outside until we do end up buying our own property. I obviously can't bring an outdoor cat to an apartment complex. Um, I need, what else do we need? Like not much, like I need like kitchen towels, like little things like that, you know? Um, I already bought so much and I will show you guys everything that I got. A lot of it's in my trunk, a lot of it's in the house, in boxes. So the things that I can't unbox for you, I will put on the screen when I do my haul later and like tell you guys where I'm gonna put in the apartment and like kind of explain my vision I also made vision boards for the apartment like mood boards so I'll share those with y'all too I love doing that when I move somewhere new um so yeah let's go into home goods before this chit chat this chit chat gets any longer and let's go shop till we drop because I love home goods. Even if I'm just like window shopping, home goods is so fun for like inspiration and finding like really good pieces. Like I found my entire um, Lennox Christmas China set. I found like a bunch of pieces of it here. And then my grandma found some pieces and gave them to me for Christmas. But like little things like that are like so good for home goods. You can find some really high quality stuff, like a big bang for the buck. So let's go inside, I'm excited. And let's see what we find. Heaven. This is what this is what heaven looks like to me. <gasps> Look how pretty all of these are, all the bright colors. I love all the Easter stuff. I'm sad we're not gonna be moved in in time for me to really take advantage. I love all the florals. This is so pretty. Wow. Look how fun this whole collection is. The little tortilla holder. I love this. I'm gonna snag it. It's only $7.99. Which I feel like is a really good price. And I got the little uh, tortilla holders. That kind of like this color. I can't find them right now. But I thought that was fun. I love all these like outdoor. They like remind me so much of like the things that we saw in Cosmel. Like all the patterns and the prints and colors. Oh, I love them. And this little tequila <laughs> is so cute. Now here's the worst part about home goods. Look how stunning these like smoky gray champagne shoots are in these matching wine glasses, but there's three of these and only two of these and I can't find any more and I don't know what to do because I don't want an odd number, but they are stunning. Only $4.99? Are you kidding? I'm about to hunt down the rest of these. No joke. Because I think I really need them. There is like similar ones I want from CB2, but they're like eight bucks a piece. It's half the price. I don't know what to do. Because these are beautiful. You guys, I'm doing so good over here with this dishware. So I got these for the tortillas. This comes and matches like for your toppings for taco, like taco night. Oh, look at these stunning bowls made in Japan, handcrafted. I got four different patterns, beautiful. And then the champagne and wine glasses. I need one more and I'm on the hunt. If I could, I would buy everything. I'm such a fine china girl. I love dish sets and kitchen stuff. Like this is my heaven right here. Beautiful, but these, it's taking everything in me not to buy these, but I don't need them. But they're so pretty. I got all the goods. And before I put it away, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Target a few weeks ago. So my mom bought this really cute little like woven um, 
dog bone holder for Oreos toys. I got this mirror from Target on clearance for like 20 bucks, no joke, like four months ago, and it's beautiful. And then got some kitchen stuff. I like this new brand at Target. It's called Figment, um, and I got a bunch of their stuff. So I got their little pasta spoons and spatulas. Um, I got this from the same brand, and then I also got their baking pans. They're gold. They're really pretty. Um, and then this stuff is breakable, so I gotta be careful. But I got this really beautiful elephant. Um, it has like that really pretty blue and white print I seem to be obsessed with. And then over here, yeah, just the elephant. So that's what's in there. She's stunning. And then my mom got John and I these sheets. Are you kidding me? They're like that European print. It reminds me of like Greece and Italy. Absolutely stunning. My favorite. I'm apparently obsessed with blue and white. And then I got just these, um, this new set of sheets. And I thought these were really pretty. Um, some of them are like this stripe pattern and then some of them are like this stripe pattern. So I got, I believe four and four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. You guys saw pretty much everything except for I got these cushions for our patio furniture. And I got this little antique mirror which I thought was, which I thought was gorgeous. Hi, um, I got, this was really pretty and it's just like golden and antique looking. And I thought it would look really nice in a little gallery wall. So I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and we're gonna head home. I don't know what it is you guys about shopping. Like it's so fun, but it's so tiring. Like I'm literally exhausted now. Oh my god. So, I think we're gonna go home. We're going to. You know, I was in the mood to film a try on, but I don't think I can do it anymore. I'm really tired. It's like a whole thing, you know? So, I think we're gonna go home, take out my contacts, wash my face, and then chill for the rest of the night. I wanna edit our Nova Scotia and Boston vlog. So I'm going to edit that and get that up. I just want to make sure I edit all my videos before moving comes because I want to clear out my SIM card. I have enough space to do an empty apartment tour, a move with me vlog, unpack with me vlog, organization vlog. Like I'm going to do all of it. I'm doing the whole shebang. Um, so I need to make sure I have plenty of room on my SIM card. And I've just been a slacker and I've been taking so long to edit everything because life's been cray cray. I also have some homework and tomorrow's Super Bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and get my homework done tonight. It's really easy, it's just a discussion post. And maybe try to plan ahead a little bit because I do have a project coming up. So that would be good to be able to go ahead and edit or to go ahead and get started on. I also got a vitamin water. I love vitamin waters. I don't know about y'all. I get the sugar free. This one is sadly not sugar free. It's the only one that Home Goods had, but it's the acai blueberry pomegranate. Oh my gosh, it's like the best combination. So, I've been drinking this while shopping. It's so good. I'm also selling my car. I don't know if I told you guys that. Since I'm gonna be living where I'm working, and my internship is where my dad works. So on the days I have to go into office for my internship, I'm gonna carpool with my dad. And then since I literally live on site where I lease, I literally just like walk to the leasing office. So there's no point in me having a car. It would just be sitting there, never being driven. And my car payment's $400 a month. Like it's pretty pricey. And it's not even like I love my car. Like I like my car. It's a car I chose, kind of, but um, I don't know. I think it's just time to let her go. So I am um, selling it. So I'm gonna list it for sale probably the last week of February. Or I'll get it ready for sale, to sell the last week of February. We move March 1st, so I wanna sell it as soon as we move. So yeah, I'm selling my car. If anyone wants a Jeep, let me know. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace. 
and then I'm just not gonna have a car until we buy a house then I'll buy a nice car but yeah I thought it would be a really smart financial decision to sell my car especially since I blah, 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 especially since I can get more for it than I owe so I'm gonna sell it pay off the car loan obviously and then use it to pay off some other debt like my student loans and stuff like not pay it off but towards it and then yeah it'll be like a nice nice financial decision for sure I also made a, a tech 2 appointment <laughs> for uh, February 28th the week before we move and I'm just waiting for her to reach back out and confirm it but I'm gonna get a stamp tech 2 like right here on my forearm like kind of like below where the flower is and it's gonna be of lemons and then I'm gonna get the lighting just got really bad the sun's going down and then I'm gonna get um, some hand tattoos on my right hand I'm gonna get 47 it's my lucky number Vista Vey I think and um, I'm gonna get a couple little guys on my fingers I'm gonna show you guys hold on um, so Vista Vey is uh, French and I believe no it's Italian Vista Vey no it's French right yeah it's French um, and it means live your life and I think that's beautiful and I want it tattooed on my hand so I'm gonna do Vista Bay with the number 47 and then these little finger tats I don't know which ones are like what order how many how little I haven't decided yet um, but it's gonna look like this kind of here I'm looking at my Pinterest I have a tattoos um, thingy kind of like this so you see those cute little um like little dots little fireworks little stars whatever you want to call them i'm gonna get some of those and um yeah i'm really excited i also want made of memories tattooed somewhere i just don't know where so i don't know i'll get as many as she's willing to let me get <laughs> but my best friend Bree got me a um, gift card for my birthday to this tattoo artist that I really love and I have to use a gift card by July or it just expires so I'm trying to get in there before life gets really busy and before summer because I hate getting tattoos and then being out in the Sun and stuff I feel like it you know I also need to touch up my elephant this one needs touching up really bad so yeah I'm just chit chatting away so let's go home I'm tired and I wanted to show you guys a couple of the other things that I bought from Amazon yeah I'm definitely definitely filming my try on tomorrow we're also going to Ikea tomorrow mm, mm, mm. I don't know about you but I love me some Ikea pizza mm, I'm so excited they have the best pizza Ikea and Sam's Club slap it slaps but okay let's go home it's five o'clock because I'm gonna hit five o'clock traffic even though it's a Saturday, still still a thing around here. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the goods I got off of Amazon. I'm gonna show you the beautiful dining room table and bench that I ordered and do some homework and editing. Let's go home. Okay, here's our, <laughs> wow. You look absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, Alfredo. Here's our current situation. Let me like, okay, ready? All the way over here. That is our our dining room rug. This is our front door currently. Um, this is the dining room rug. It's this really cool like diamond pattern. You can't see it obviously. This is, um, I think this is the cabinet that's going in our dining room to hold all of our wine glasses and wine and cocktail glasses all that beautiful jazz I'll put a photo of it right here okay so you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about and this is John and I's headboard I'll also insert a photo because I'm not opening all of these things these are my mom's packages this 
Oh, these are our, okay. I'll insert a photo because I don't want to undo all of this stuff, you guys. Um, and I'll obviously show you like when we move in. I'm just trying to get you guys an idea. This is our chair for our master bedroom. Insert a photo. Um, and this is all of our Christmas decor that we just didn't put in the garage because what's the point? We're moving. This is a cat, not for sale. He's the cutest thing in the world. This is our dining room chairs. We have four of them. This is getting sent back. I ordered one dining room table and then I changed my mind and I ordered a nicer one. Um, this is the brand that I got for our pans and they're really cool because it comes with a ton of them. It's a set right here. Comes with a ton and the um, handles detach and reattach so you can like change between all of these pans, which is, I have no idea. Um, I think, I don't know. Oh, that I think is my pot. This is our new curtains for our master bedroom, which are really pretty. They're like this beautiful beige linen. Can you see? Stunning. I'm really excited. Okay. This is a pot organizer. <laughs> Some things are more exciting than others. Hold on, let me close this. This has to go back and this bottom one has to go back. Yeah, that's, that's that. I'm gonna leave this. I don't want this to fall actually because it's breakable. Hi, buddy. Okay, let me open this up and show y'all the goods. Here's another cat. <laughs> Can you guys even see me? The sun's probably gnarly. Okay. This is an organizer. I want to show you one thing. Yes! Okay. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. These. Look how freaking cute. This is to go in the fridge to hold our fruit. Are you kidding? This is most definitely the girliest thing I own, but I'm like in this like girly era. I don't know what's going on. The little strawberries and the pink ones, so we'll wash those. And we can put all of our fruit in it and then keep them in the fridge. I just thought they were the cutest things ever. And then this is, oh, oh wait, I lied to you. These are our blackout curtains. Oh, these are our blackout curtains, and the other ones I showed you was our duvet cover. They look the same. Um, this is... I don't, oh, um, my new dog bowls. It's like this wood holder, and these really pretty white bowls. Yeah. You guys get the gist. A whole bunch of goodies, and I'm super excited to move in and show you guys everything. Right, Friday? Say I love you. I love you so much. Mm, you're so beautiful. Such a handsome man. Good morning. Wow, Miss Maple, really? Is that how you feel? I just woke up, literally haven't even brushed my hair. <sighs> I just made coffee. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, just made a coffee. Just woke up. And we need to get ready. We're going to meet my dad at IKEA today. I don't know what I want to wear, so let's go figure that out together. My this room's kind of a mess. So hold on, I need my hands. Oh god, oh god, don't spill, don't spill, okay. Okay. Alright, success. This room is a disaster. Um, because I don't have space for my clothes, so I really can cannot wait until I have a closet. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Let me just let me just show you what we're working with, okay? 
Wow. These are all of John and I's clothes. I have a clothing rack. I have the dressers. I have the top of the dressers. I, you know, it's, it's just, I'm doing the best I can. The closet is full, you know? It's just, it's hard, guys. It's really hard. Because I still have some of my mom's clothes here. And then, like, all the closets are full. And the closets are, like, one-third the size as the closets were in Fort Myers. So I'm really excited to have a walk-in closet of my own. And then for John to have a walk-in closet of his own. And we're each going to have our own dresser. And hopefully it's enough space. But who knows? I have no idea what I want to wear. It's hot out. I'm thinking, like, linen pants and like a a basic tank or something like something really cute and casual and then I can wear um just like my Veja Vejas or like my Adidas sneakers I guess I'll be on it what is happening oh wow okay so I have let me just set you up because perhaps that'll make life easier I have these linen shorts they're like really cute green um i got these off of shein and they're honestly solid like they're a solid pair of shorts they're double line not see-through i was really impressed when i got these in the mail and then those are too beachy it's like not even really spring yet okay and then i have these guys i got these from i think target um and they're pretty solid too double line not see-through just beige have little pockets on the butt um they need ironed but i don't have the energy to do that so i'm excited to live with my dad because he irons everything <laughs> oh. god i'm sorry you guys i'm not even tired i don't know why i keep yawning um my dad irons everything, like everything. Every single morning, he irons his clothes before work. I'm like, go off, king. So, I'm excited because maybe he'll iron my clothes. <laughs> I think I'm going to wear these. And then I'm just going to wear, like, a basic um, little crop. Either a tank or a little t-shirt. Okay, I changed the wrinkles in the pants were literally so bad i was like Ugh! so i put on these like one of my favorite pair of denim from zara um and i just left them as is i think they're super cute casual i have the little white tee on this is a bdg t-shirt from urban outfitters and then oh i'm wearing my adidas sambas and I'm gonna throw on a black um, belt bag. And then I'm indecisive. Should I throw on a belt, you guys? I have my, wherever, where is it? <clears throat> I have my YSL belt, which is super cute. And I feel like it just makes me look more put together. Um, I really want a black one. They have an all black one that's super cute and I really want it. Um, okay. And I feel like this just makes me look like I tried harder <laughs> than I did. Okay. Cutie. Cutie, cutie, patootie. Um, so, we can rock that. Is that a vibe? I think that's a vibe. I'm vibing. Okay. So, we're going to rock that. And then, I'll probably just wear my black belt bag just like throw the outfit together i'm gonna switch over the bag though from my prada or do i wear my prada since my belt is tan nah i'm gonna wear my belt bag okay i just hate switching bags like i literally always just wear the same one because this is like the worst thing for me i don't need my keys because john didn't drive i just need my wallet Perfect. Okay, cool. So, the whole fit will look like this. And I think that's really cute. 
cute and simple. We're just going to Ikea, looking at furniture, accessories for the apartment. Did I show you guys my little coffee cup? I bought it in Boston, look how cute it is. Bree and I got a matching one. And I love it. Cheers. Now I'm gonna go do my makeup. Put my contacts in, brush my teeth. You know, all the fun stuff. The car's right there. We've made it to Arkea. First stop is obviously pizza. The pizza here is the best. <laughs> and of course, John got a pretzel. <laughs> In the bedroom suit sitting in that place. Yeah, this is yeah, beautiful. Again, no, I, but I still have 12 days to go have to get rid of it. I thought I'd take it. Wish I had somewhere to put it. You have your living room first. It's done. John's trying to find a new desk for the office, or for the garage. But I found some cup holders, so I'm going to buy these. <laughs> I used to have these, and they're my fave. 10 out of 10, and they're cheap. Two seventy nine. So I grabbed two packs. John really likes this desk with like this little grate on the back. Just nice and sturdy for a garage. John's bullying me because I want cup holders. Two. Two of them. Four, actually, for me. <laughs> he loves that for me. That's crazy, as John would say. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. I'm in my era here. My I'm in my in my place. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a 10 out of 10, you guys. I love this. I'm loving the blue with the black. The black handles. I cannot wait to build a house. It's like it's made for it. No. This is fake, but full marble. The wall, mm. slay. 10 out of 10, ooh! The black and the gold with the white. Okay, I like this even more. I love black countertops. Look at this. Oh, yes. We're on our way to thou apartment. Take some measurements. Measurements. <laughs> <laughs> Take some measurements. I'm out of breath. I'm trying to teach John how to open a door. You know, how to be a gentleman and open the door for me. She can't quite figure it out. So what he does, right? That's we're in practice mode. He opens the door and then gets in the car. And I'm like, no, that's not, mm -mm. Close, but not quite there. We'll work on it, babe, it's okay. But we're going to the apartment to take measurements of the garage. John's gonna be living in the garage and then John, or my dad and I are gonna be living in the apartment. Uh, we're turning the garage into a little man cave, and then hopefully it's big enough. We're gonna split the office, and then my dad has a room, and we have the master. And my camera's dying, so I'm gonna save my battery. First glimpse at the apartment. It's so bright in here. This is perfect. In the kitchen. Obviously, it's not done yet, and I need to clean. But our carpets are in. Oh, nice Capri Sun. The mirrors need to go up. We need to measure the patio. Hey guys, I am vlogging on my phone because my camera is sadly dead, but I did get some really nice pieces from Princess Polly for the spring and the summer, like really good transitional pieces. So I wanted to go ahead and try these on and show you guys what I got. Okay, the first piece is this basic white crop i really like it because it has like the pretty little detailing the boob area is double lined so if you didn't want to wear a bra you don't have to like i'm wearing a new bra and you can obviously see through it because the back is see-through um but i didn't wear a bra with it yesterday when we went out and ran errands and it looked fine so it was definitely optional i got it in a size us4 and it fits perfectly Mmm, little afternoon, you're just totally sideways. Oh, I can't believe my camera's dead. Got a little afternoon pick-me-up, but the next is, <laughs> oh my God. I can't find my tripods, my camera's dead, like this whole moving thing, I'm a mess. 
The next piece is this really beautiful button up. I love this because I felt like the colors were perfect for transitioning into spring. It's like a really beautiful baby blue and white. Little button up, super thin, like a linen material. I would style this by wearing either white shorts if you're going the casual route or white or beige jeans like denim would look really really nice pair of pants i would tuck it in one size on one side and wear like a lacy white bralette the white with this and like a brown strappy sandal be beautiful i could totally see this like casual dinner in greece like this would be such a cute outfit or putting this over a little white bikini or even like a brown bikini black bikini it would just really flatter it and i think this top is so so cute Everything I bought was on clearance or on sale. It'll all be linked down below once I go through the haul. But I got this in a size US 6. I wanted a little oversized and I really, really love it. The quality is fantastic. And again, the colors are just perfect for spring. Okay, the next thing is this really cute dress. I'm gonna have to hold or lower the camera so you guys can see. Look how stinking cute. This is on clearance too. It's like a beautiful baby yellow beige. Um, the boobs are double lined. I'm not wearing a bra right now. I could probably tighten the straps a little bit. I love how it cinches in the waist. And it comes like the perfect length. Definitely recommend wearing some Spanx or like shorts underneath just in case. Because it like you spin too much and it's going to give everybody a whole show. But this is a perfect little spring dress. If it's a little cold out, you can throw on a denim jacket. You could wear this with sneakers, with heels, with sandals. It's just very really versatile and it is so pretty. I love the little roses. And I think it's so super cute. Okay, the next two pieces are two of my favorite. So I got this really cute strapless top. It zips in the back. Oh, the little thing there sticking out it's super cute i love the pattern it's like this beautiful crochet floral pattern and then like around the top of the boob area it's really cute and i got these little black dad shorts i got a size us6 in both i'll tell you though i am a 32 to a 34 c and it's a little tight around my boobs so i would say size up if that is like your cup size. Um, I would say the top runs a little small, but it fits fine. I'm sure it'll stretch out as I wear it. And I got a size US 6 in the pants and they fit great too. So super cute. I love both of these items and they were both on sale. So again, link down below if you guys are interested. I think I've definitely entered a girly era in my life. Sorry, my cats are messing with all of our bags and boxes. But look how cute this little sundress is. I love the like embellishments on here. Like all of the, I think embellishments is the right word. Um, engravings, I don't really know. But it's so pretty, all the floral. And then the top is like this nice woven. It is see-through, so wear Spanx and a bra because I'm not wearing either. <laughs> and I just love it. It goes like the perfect length. It's not too short. Again, cute with some sandals, sneakers, a jean jacket. This would be really cute on the 4th of July. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so glad that I've been buying more dresses because they're so easy and they're like the best to transition to spring with. So cute, Princess Polly, you're killing it. You have to like bear with me here. So there's this dress. It goes like mid thigh. It's really like right above the knee and there's like a little string. So when it's put on the right way, it would be tied around the waist so it would like cinch in the back. And then you also would like take these long strings here and wrap them around the wrist and tie them. So then it would be like cinched around the wrists. So I'm too lazy to put it on all the way, but I think once it's on correctly and like styled, it'll be really cute. I thought it'd be good for work and for like date nights, going out, just a cute little silky, sexy or casual dress, just depending on how you dress it up or dress it down. Definitely need, I definitely need Spanx and a bra, but this dress, the, the idea is there. First off, I love the open back. Beautiful. I love the detailing around the top here. I definitely need Spanx. Um, but it's like this really beautiful sweater maxi. The butt looks slay. Quality is really good. 
it goes all the way down to your ankles and it's just like a really beautiful maxi dress honestly it's giving me greece vibes so i think john needs to book us a trip to greece because <laughs> apparently i had greece on my mind when i was buying all of these goodies from princess polly and this is this is one of my these are two of my favorite pieces so these are the same shorts as the ones in black i showed you but these are a little bit baggier i love the beige they're perfect for summer and if you want to you can roll them up they don't have to be long like the dad short and then this top is beautiful it has kind of like a corset feel to it um double lined no bra fits perfect it zips up in the back the only thing is it's a full size it's not a crop so you have to tuck it in at least not on me i have a kind of short torso though um, but I love this US 6 US 6. I love them both two of my favorite pieces definitely from the haul. Okay, the lighting sucks because I had to turn on the lights getting dark outside and There's no plug for me to plug this in like over here. So um, Here's the next dress. This is so cute. I love it, it ties hold on up here, but it's double lined it zips It zips on the side double lined so you don't have to worry about it being see-through goes like right below the butt so a little bit shorter but it just snatches you in with a pair of, a pair of white heels i feel like this would look so cute what a great spring dress i am a huge fan okay the last part of the haul is actually what i'm wearing on valentine's day and i am obsessed i'm about to go order this and every color every pattern it's a maxi dress, so it goes all the way down. It's double lined. It's the softest, most flattering material. I love the dark, or I love the deep V. It has like an underline here, so it actually like supports the boobies a little bit. It just, it's a sleigh. This is <laughs> probably one of my favorite items. I know I keep saying that. This dress, the white little tank, the cream and the black shorts, the white strapless one, all so good. Like I seriously love everything, I don't even know. Um, every time I order from Princess Polly, I'm never disappointed. I love their products, they last so long, they're such good quality. Not sponsored, I wish it was sponsored, not sponsored. I'm just a huge fan. They are having a sale right now, everything I bought was on sale. So if you liked anything, it'll all be linked down below and I'll also post any of the current coupon codes that they have going on in case you guys can't find them.